I'm Karen Atia, and I'm the Global Opinions Editor for The Washington Post, and I was Jamal Khashoggi's editor. I got this column from Jamal's assistant a day after he disappeared, and it was the last piece of his that I edited for The Post. We felt that releasing it after his death would remind the world of his commitment and passion for freedom in the Arab world and the greater world as well. I'm so grateful for our time together at The Washington Post. I was recently online looking at the 2018 Freedom of the World Report published by Freedom House and came to a grave realization. There's only one country in the Arab world that has been classified as free. A state-run narrative dominates the public psyche. And while many do not believe it, a large majority of the population falls victim to this false narrative. The Arab world was ripe with hope during the spring of 2011. They expected to be emancipated from the hegemony of their governments. These expectations were quickly shattered. My dear friend, the prominent Saudi writer Salih al Shahi wrote one of the most famous columns ever published in the Saudi press. He unfortunately is now serving an unwarranted five-year prison sentence. The Egyptian government's seizure of the entire print run of a newspaper Al Masri Al Yom did not enrage or provoke a reaction from colleagues. These actions no longer carry the consequence of a backlash from the international community. Instead, these actions may trigger condemnation quickly, followed by silence. When فقد منحت الحكومات العربية حرية مواصلة إسكات الإعلام بمعدل متزايد كان هناك زمن اعتقد فيه الصحفيون أن الإنترنت سيحرر المعلومات من الرقابة والسيطرة المرتبطين بوسائل الإعلام المطبوعة But these governments whose very existence relies on the control of information have aggressively blocked the Internet They have also arrested local reporters and pressured advertisers to harm the revenues of specific publications There are a few oases that continue to embody the spirit of the Arab Spring. My publication, The Post, has taken the initiative to translate many of my pieces and publish them in Arabic. For that, I am grateful. The Arab world needs a modern version of the old transnational media so citizens can be informed about global events. More important, we need to provide a platform for Arab voices. We suffer from poverty, mismanagement and poor education. إن إنشاء منتدى دولي مستقل ومعزول عن تأثير الحكومات القومية التي تنشر الكراهية من خلال الدعاية سيمكن الناس العاديون في العالم العربي من معالجة المشاكل البنيوية التي تواجهها مجتمعاتهم. We stand with journalists worldwide calling for truth and accountability for Jamal Khashoggi. Freedom of expression should never ever be silenced.